Okay, wait. Wait. I'm hiding. <laughs> Hey guys, so I'm getting another dog today. Okay, so a little backstory. A lot of people know on my Instagram, but I haven't really talked too much about it on my channel. I am getting a puppy prospect, and I have been having this planned for like, what, over a month now? I'm finally picking her up today, so I decided that I was obviously going to vlog it, because why wouldn't I? I haven't said her breed, like, on social media at all, because I want it to be a surprise, so you'll be seeing here shortly what her breed is. She is a purebred. A lot of people ask that. Um, and right now she's only two months old, so... Yeah, there's not really much else to talk about besides so let's go get her. So we have a two hour drive before we get there. Lovely. Shelby's like Can't not wait. ready for it. <laughs> Can't wait. <laughs> and uh, we got Cloud right here. And we got Maisley right here, which is Shelby's dog. Shelby's beautiful red husky that she just recently got. It's fine. I'm fine. <laughs> I don't have an addiction. Huh. <laughs> so yeah, and I think Cloud, Cloudy, I think you're excited to have a little sister. No, I'm not. She just doesn't know what's coming. And what she doesn't know ain't gonna hurt her yet. <laughs> All right, let's go get this puppy. Okay. My china ass wheel in the way. Actually, there we go. Okay, so for the first order, can I have two sausage burritos with picotney sauce? Butter mild. Mild, please. Thank you. Oh my god, my wheel is so low. I haven't used it in so long. <laughs> I'm so jealous of your craft day. Thank you so much. Okay, so we made it here to the meeting spot that I'm meeting with the breeder. So the breeder, our meeting time was originally 12 o'clock. We were only two hours away and the breeder had to drive further. They had to drive three hours away and then the puppy had a lot of potty breaks. So um, they're actually running a little bit later, but it's okay because we could just sit here for like um, 20 to 40 minutes, I mean 30 minutes, it's not that bad. So. Yeah, that's what's happening, and I literally cannot wait to meet this little puppy. I'm so excited. I don't even remember what it's like to have a puppy because Cloud hasn't been a puppy in almost five years. Woo! <laughs> uh, Cloud hasn't been a puppy in four years, four to five years. So it's definitely gonna be an experience, but it's okay, it's fine. We'll do okay, I have Shelby, it's okay. Like, it's fine. We're all saved. Oh, oh my God, there's a cone in the middle of the road. It's fine. There's a bump. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I hated that. <gasps> so we made it here and we decided that we're gonna go ahead and walk around Target for a little bit while we're still waiting for the breeder to get here. It is literally so busy and I have no clue why. I think maybe they're having a sale. It is so busy, like so many people are in there. So like, this is gonna be fun. My, My hair is Maisie. such a mess. I have this little piece that like, keeps going on the good wrong girl, side. Good girl. But there's Maisie. Oh, <laughs> sorry. There's Noisy, Noisy. She's so cute. And here's Chloe. We're letting them go to the bathroom because it's been like two hours, so they need to go potty. I'm pretty and sure. And they woke up like right before this, so. Yeah, so. Morning hmm. potties. So here we go. Good girl, Noisy. Good girl. Yes, you can smell that. Yeah, good girl. 
Come here. This way. Come on, Lee. It's dying. Okay. Can you grab the leash a little better? Sorry, excuse us. No, don't tell me sorry. We can bring it off. I know, that was such a weird response. Oh my god. Sit. Sit. Thank you, stay. Sit. I have to put my heat collar on. Sit. Clip this one. Like. She's missing her attention. Clog. Clog. Good girl, yay! Yes! Oh, thank you. I love you. Beasley. Beasley. Yes. Go. Oh, oh, she's shot. Or <laughs> Beasley. Oh my god. <laughs> um, my service dog is. Should I allow it? No. Am I? It's cute. <laughs> like, tell me that wasn't the quirkiest. Huh? <laughs> she's got a scratch on her face. Here, oh, I love it. I love it so good for you. You get a whole So what you just saw, you're like, oh my gosh, why would you let your service dog do that in public? She literally was just rolling on the ground. It really just isn't that deep. She's a puppy. She just woke up. <laughs> she just woke up. Like, <laughs> I'm sorry, she's like fresh into her PA training. She's a puppy. She's gonna get a little slack. Like she's having fun. I want to keep everything happy-go-lucky with her. And I want it to be fun. And I want her to like enjoy herself. So if she like wants to rub on the ground for two seconds, she can rub on the ground. Mm -hmm. It's really not that deep. <laughs> and like my dog's always well behaved. It's never That's running it. around a store. It's never being insane. Like literally, she just like did that for two seconds. But ready? Watch this. Come on, Mace. Watch how great she is. She's so good. Go ahead. Well, but hey, she walks on a leash, sweetie. Like, good girl. Sit. Good girl. Like, That's it. She's so new to it. She's fine. Also, I am going to say real quick, um, she is seven months old. I know she looks really big for seven months old, but we, like, she really is seven months she old. She really is. She's huge for being seven months. And I haven't but had her She is seven months old. We have people bird. staring at us, like, like, literally. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, there they are. There they are, staring. Oh right. yeah, they're gonna she act died. like they're actually looking on something on the shelf when they were literally sitting there staring at me. Anyway, she died. she yeah she did. <laughs> She's seven months old. Shelby got her uh, a little less than a little bit of a month ago. And here's the thing is that yeah like she's in public already here's the thing she's already seven months old and shelby has to try her best to go ahead and try to desensitize and socialization as, as early as possible I while have, she can i literally have to make up for all the lack of like socialization desensitization she's had because when i first got her she was like whoa what's life but she was like confident she was just very curious and now she's like a whole new dog on top of it i want to say she already knows like a few tasks like she knows interruptions she knows dpt like she like oh, she does she's really she well she generally with it. does and so because i train that she's legally allowed and she behaves in public so she has the right to be in public mm -hmm. so don't be a gatekeeper that's all yeah, and it's just, she's really well behaved. Like, there's honestly no problems. It's mostly also just de desensitization while she's still somewhat of a puppy. It's and always she very does important. So well with it. Like, she generally it's, does so. Like, she's such a good girl. Because once she hits a certain age, desensitization and socialization is going to be a lot more difficult. In, you have to do it in early stages. Exactly. In the longer you wait, the harder it's going to be. Also, seven to nine months. Is a critical is, state too. Is critical because that's when they're probably going to go through one of their biggest fear periods. Mm -hmm. So how they act within that is very important. You really want to make sure that goes well. That's why everything's happy-go-lucky because she's a puppy. She shouldn't be corrected every time she's not happy because it's just going to make her very stressed mm -hmm. out and she's going to be scared to like be herself. Mm -hmm. So yes, I'm being lenient and letting her like not always be perfect because she needs that. She needs to just enjoy herself and have fun but also like 
obviously I have boundaries and stuff, but yeah. yeah. So that's why she's allowed to roll on the ground a little once in a while. It's oh. fine. Training with Shelby 101. It's fine. <laughs> No, but like I wanted to, I wanted Shelby to explain that to you guys because obviously like to you who are first starting out in the service dog community, I want you guys to understand and to learn from my videos so that way it's helpful for you. Also, I just realized like I said in the, the past few videos that like I don't understand why Target is so busy today, but then I also just realized it's literally college season and everyone's like starting college and moving into their dorm and stuff like that, so that's probably yeah, why it's so busy because everyone's getting college Show them basically stuff. eating this treat. This is the funniest yeah. thing. This is how she eats. Wait, let me make sure her task first. Yes! Yes, get it! Yes! Good girl! Ready? Watch this. She takes the longest I've ever seen a dog take to eat a dehydrated piece of chicken. Like, I just got a text from the breeder and they're getting off the exit now which is like down the street from the target so oh my God, i'm about to meet her it's gonna be so cute also i'm being weird and like it's so funny because i'm pointing up a camera in target but like literally everyone is staring at us so it's fine because we have dogs so it's a thing it's literally a thing that people just sit there and stare like it's it's fine it's okay it's all right <laughs> What? <laughs> it's so freaking busy, like it's crazy how busy it is. Yeah, what's happening? <laughs> yeah, good girl. Good girl. Wait. Ah! The bandana. Oh my god. Yeah, let's just stand in front of you. Yeah. <laughs> she smells so good. That's oh amazing. my goodness. She's so good. Oh, I love puppies. The oh. bandana is such a cute cut. I just, so good. Just like, at first, uh, first time you're so cute. You're arm. so cute. Oh, it's <laughs> fine. Oh. Are you sure you want me to drive back? Yeah, you, you, if you want to drive back, I don't mind holding. Okay. She's so precious. <laughs> they can't decide what they want to do. Nope. Dads were up by 12 weeks, but like I said, they'll come up, they'll go down, they'll come up, they'll go down. <laughs> this is how you feel, Maisley? Yeah. Um, the one that's like that's yours in the back, right? Yeah, mine's back there. That's my friend. Hi, sweetie. And that's Cloud down there. Oh, I know. I talked her Instagram. I know. Really? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All the photos. We, uh, we, uh, we just came back nope. from Target. Oh yeah, you can look what you want. Really? Everyone knows their phone now, right? I know. Apparently, yeah. Yeah. That's because it's, it's so easy. It's so trendy. No. It's so easy to get a service dog vest on Amazon. They're fourteen ninety nine. Yeah. And they legally can't ask for it, so they just do it. Yeah. Yeah. You don't yeah. even have to. Well, I won't even put one on. It provides emotional yeah. support. Yeah. What's your... Oh my god. Honestly, it, I don't care. It's not your dog ass, right? Yeah. <laughs> as long as you don't, like, yeah, as no, long as you're not a threat sure to my service dog. Oh, she's, like, so calm. She's, like... Someone should ever hire me as a service person. In this moment, I am not living up to it. It's so funny. My camera's getting all wet, but it's fine. You know, okay. it's fine. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> now she'll lighten up a lot when you get older. She'll almost have, they call it a halo on her head. So she'll probably keep a little bit of black hair, but she'll probably be almost all the time. And then the will pop up around her neck. No accident. They are all fast. Oh. She smells the ground. She's going to use the bathroom. My heart. I know, I really feel like I'm going to cry. I just like want to... She's so cute. Look at she's getting all wet, but it's fine. Oh, it's okay, because she's cute. I just wanna, hi, baby. Hi, baby girl. Oh, she's got that in the car. Where it's not raining? You guys. Get her all settled in. Okay, so like it's storming out like really bad, but it's pretty ironic. It's fine. So here's Storm. 
name, that's her name, and she is a German Shepherd puppy. She is the cutest. <laughs> so a little bit of a little story. I, when I was thinking of choosing a puppy, um, I really normally wasn't gonna choose a German Shepherd just because it was pretty common. Like everyone was, is getting German Shepherds right now for service work and stuff like that, and I really wasn't. I was trying to figure out another breed. But when it came down to it and I was like really sitting there and figuring out my ideal service dog with behavior and temperament and everything, it all came down to German Shepherd. Like that's just what it all pretty much came down to. Like I literally couldn't get away from it. So here's little Stormy and she's just the cutest thing ever and I love her so much already. And she's doing so good in the car and the breeder said she did really good in the car ride. Um, we're just gonna have to take a few potty breaks for her. She is two months old, eight weeks. We'll just say eight weeks because I'm, I'm allowed to say weeks. We're not going to st start saying months yet. So, <laughs> but she's so cute. I love her. And she had this little bandana. It's so cute. So, yeah, there's a new storm. adorable and she has so much energy but yet she is a cuddle bug I will say that and I love that about her now that we're home and she's been doing really well I'm going to show you a little puppy haul of everything that I have gotten her so far don't chew on that so I'm going to show you a little puppy haul of everything I've gotten her so far okay so starting off with the main thing is her collar right now she is wearing something and it's a little bandana collar thing and the breeder got that for her, so and I've just kind of like kept it on her since. But this is her collar. It's just a basic maroon collar because that is going to be her color. Her color is going to be maroon. Um, and so, and since like clouds is blue, I thought maroon would be very cute for Storm because I want them to have something different. And then I got her a basic tag. Okay, so this is the collar. Um, and I got her a little tag that has a little engraved lightning bolt in it. And then I'm going to show the back. 
the back says storm service dog and training because she is and then there's this little like tracker thing it's like a bluetooth tracker it connects to my phone I have cloud has one too so um that is her color okay so then next i have um this leash uh, i decided to get it's like a maroon color it's like literally the same color as her collar um i did decided to get this little like um cloth one it's like a really small for her puppy leash. So this one is like kind of just like a throwaway leash type of thing because obviously she's either gonna chew on it or um, it's probably gonna end up getting destroyed anyway. So, but this is her leash and then that's her collar. So, come here Stormy Storm. Hi puppy, hi baby, hi. Oh, what is wrong? What is wrong? We got all your toys. She keeps playing with Cloud, it's so cute. Moving on to toys, which are the fun part. So I have these keys right here and they're from Nyla Bone. They're super cute. They're like baby keys. Like I thought that was really cute. Um, they're just like different colors and they're really nice for them to, the puppy to chew on. They're bendy and it's really nice. So that was the first toy that I got her. Then after that, I had gotten her this Kong. It is a little like Kong. Storm, come here. It is um, a little Kong, but it's like a binky. And I thought it was super cute because like a baby. So like, it was really cute. It's just a pink regular Kong and it's like just a binky. And it has a hole right there to put like filling in for like the Kong filling that you're supposed to put in these or if you wanna put treats in there, it's like the same thing. Um, just to keep them busy. And then I have her a regular Kong for when she gets older, um, which she's used to use it a little bit now because I actually kind of forgot that I had this, but it's fine. Um, I put peanut butter in it, so that's what's in it right now, but uh, which is like the Kong filling peanut butter. But then she has this regular pink Kong um, that's going to be that's larger so she can grow with it. And then I have this little cute little fox thing. Um, it's super, super cute. It's just a little tiny shoe for baby, baby puppies. And it's got a squeaker in it. It's got a little squeaker in it. I thought it was really cute. It's super soft and it, it crinkles and stuff. So that's really cute. Then I have this toy, which is, uh, it's got a lot of hair on it. Uh, it's a little lamb, lamb head. It's really cute. It's just like, it's supposed to be like a whole lamb, but it's got the little head, which is nice for, it has a squeaker in it. If they want to chew on this part, or then they have um, this ring, which is really good for teething. And then there's like this little tab. Um, for chewing as well. So it's really, really cute. I love that. Hey, Storm. Hi. Now, don't. Already chewing on the leash. Then I have this toy that is super, super cute. It is like a little like popsicle that's like been like taken a bite out of, but it has these. Here, I'm gonna get close to show you. I really, really liked this toy because it has these little holes in it, as you can see. And what you're supposed to do is fill it up with water and then you're supposed to freeze the toy. And then it's really, really nice on their teeth for teething. So um, yeah, that was what the toy was. So that's really cute. Moving forward, we got this little, really, really, really simple toy. I thought it was really nice for like chewing, obviously, because all the toys are for chewing. What's wrong? Look right here. Just trying to get the peanut butter in the call. Um, it's this little bone and it says hashtag spoiled on it. And I thought it was really cute and it squeaks. This is actually a toy that the breeder gave me, so it's super cute. Um, it's this little pink bone, and it has like these little like spikes on it, but they're not like spikes; they're like rubber, so like it doesn't hurt. But this this is really nice for the gums, um, especially while they're developing, and like you know, it's really good for the teeth and the gums. So it's a cute little bone. I thought that was really cute that the breeder gave me this. Then I have this other simple toy. It's a little sock monkey. I thought it was super cute. We got a blue one for her. They only had blue and brown, so I thought like blue was like better than brown. It has a squeaker in it as well. And it's just really soft and just something to chew on. It has little tiny limbs that she can chew on and stuff like that. And a tail that she can chew on. And it's just really cute. Then I got, um, this isn't really like a toy, but it is a Nyla, Nyla bone. Um, just a little mini one, like an actual bone that she can just like chew on. It like takes, it's, she's going to chew it over time. It's a lot like a Benna bone. Um, but like it's minier for like smaller dogs, obviously at the time, um, which she is gonna be a big dog she's a german shepherd but um so yeah uh i haven't given this to her yet but like i said it's not really a toy but like still kind of works along with like chewed stuff so i thought it'd be really cute and it could be like her little cuddle buddy 
So it has a lot of hair on it, but it's this little giraffe toy. And I thought it was super, super cute. And like the feeling of it is like, it's more like fleece. So it's really like, it's really nice for chewing on. I, it has a squeaker in it. The reason that I specifically chose a giraffe was because when Cloud was a puppy, her first and favorite toy of all time was a giraffe toy. Um, it was a different kind of toy than this, but it was like the animal was a giraffe. And so I felt like it was only needed to get Storm a giraffe toy as well. I thought that was really, really cute. And this toy is like adorable. So, and she cuddled with it on the ride home. So, yeah. So then, so then, so then the last toy is this little tire toy. I found this at the store and it was only like a few cents. I was like, why not? This could be good for chewing. It's a little squeaker toy. There we go. So on to more of like kind of like miscellaneous stuff that's like going to help with her health. So I have this bottle of hip and joint. It's um, little supplements that she can take. They're little soft chews. Um, for German Shepherds specifically, they have very sensitive hip and joints, especially as they're growing up and you wanna make sure that they grow up to have very strong hip and joints. That's honestly with every dog, but I'm taking a little bit more precaution because she's a German Shepherd. So I got these little supplements that I will be giving her at least half uh, a, a little like supplement every day. <sighs> You're causing problems. You're causing problems. Okay, so for training specifically, because obviously we're gonna be doing a lot of that, um, I have, you wild and out. Okay, you can go. We have, I have these training treats that are Zook Minis. Um, they're specifically small for training, which is really nice because you want smaller treats so the dogs take less time to chew them because you want them to be focused on you. I have two bags of that. And then I have another bag. It's a different brand of the same training treats. Um, it's a company called Wholehearted. We have our first training vest, and a lot of this is going to be mostly used, desensitizing, to uh, vests because a lot of, if you don't do that, a lot of dogs can get very weird when you put things on them. And then when she does get older, maybe she'll fit this because I'm pretty sure she will. It's, it's, the straps can still go pretty big. So this will be her first vest that will grow with her. It's super cute. It says service dog in training, ask to pet. And the reason I put ask to pet because also we want to desensitize her to people and do a lot of socialization. So we want people to pet her and I want people to ask. So the last thing that I have for her as of now, because she is going to be getting more, this isn't everything. I have this little satchel and I literally have, I like love this thing already, honestly. Um, I can't wait to use it. This part pretty much goes on me like this, and it has a really big space in here that Storm can sit in. The main thing for this is because early socialization is a very important thing with puppies, especially dogs who are gonna be service dogs. You want them to get used to every possible sound and every possible environment that you could do, so that way when they get older, you're setting them up for success when they finally go around to those places or those people. Um, and they'll just feel very comfortable with it already because they're used to being around that. Early socialization is very important within the 12 week mark and it's not very ideal for puppies to be out in public within that 12 week mark just because they need vaccines and stuff. So you don't want them walking around the, the stores um, because they could possibly get sick. So what's very helpful for that is if I got a satchel to where she's really not touching the ground so she's not getting exposed to those those diseases or anything like that and she's still getting the socialization that she needs um, within that 12 week mark because right now she's eight weeks so that 12 week mark is very important. Another way of like doing this, I have decided to go with the satchel but another way you can do it is buying a pet stroller and it sucks because it looks so bad within the community but it's really very important to do this early on socialization with puppies so you can also get a puppy stroller and have them, you can just like pull them around uh, or push them around stores and stuff like that as well. Um, and you always wanna do very short outings when you do those outings for socialization and make it very positive. So, she's causing already problems, already causing problems. This is Storm and this is her video introducing her. And she clearly is going to be a service dog in training. Well, she will be my future service dog. And that's what pretty much what uh, service dog prospect means or what prospect is the dog that you plan on training to be a service dog. So this is what she is. Here she is. And to all of you guys who have been waiting to see who, what she looks like, here she is. She's so cute. I love her. You're so cute.
Oh, that was a big yawn. All right, thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and the cute puppy. And welcome Storm to our family. We'll be seeing more of her on our channel. And I'll see you guys in the next one. <laughs> Later.